We now move on to our second poem for analysis of imagery. So this poem is The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, and this was written by the very famous poet T.S. Eliot. Now this is a famous poem of the modernist era, and it was written between 1910 and 1915. The poem presents a stream of consciousness and dramatic monologue from the perspective of J. Alfred Prufrock, who's an extremely insecure man, expressing his frustrations through this poem. So this is the opening lines to the poem. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient, etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurants with oyster shells. So here we're getting the introduction to the poem. Literally what's happening is that J. Alfred Prufrock, the persona, is inviting the reader to come on a journey with him and to walk through the streets with him and to experience his world. Firstly, we get imagery of numbness and fakeness. So the patient etherized upon a table and the half-deserted streets. This is comparing the experiences of being under anaesthetic to his life. You know, he's unattached to his life, he's not impressed by the things around him, and he's really very alienated from the existence that other people are living around him. The negative imagery at the end of the extract is also a very powerful example of how imagery is used. The one-night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurants in, with oyster shells are representations of really the cheapest elements of society. So he's painting a picture of a cheap and a negative world which is uncomfortable and unfriendly. So the hotels are bad and the restaurants are unclean. So we really get a sense that he hates his existence and he's expressing this through the imagery choices he makes. He also attacks the morals of his modern world and is perhaps suggesting that morals have declined and that ethical standards aren't what they used to be. If we continue with this extract, the yellow fog that rubs its back upon the window panes, the yellow smoke that rubs its muzzle on the window panes, licked its tongue into the corners of the evening, lingered upon the pools that stand in drains, let fall upon its back the soot that falls from chimneys, slipped by the terrace, made a sudden leap. So this extract is really a very interesting and quite fun comparison between the fog and a cat or a dog who's exploring the city. So, um, you know, like a cat or a dog rubs up against things, the fog is also rubbing against things and exploring every single surface of the city. So it's very invasive. It's really intruding on his life. This is a very invasive, harsh image expressed through the repetition of the rubs and also the repetition of the yellow in the fog and the smoke. So that very harsh, negative image. Um, the extensive imagery of the urban environment at the end of this extract is also a testament to the artificial aspects of the industrial life which he experiences. So the pools that stand in drains and the soot in the chimneys and the terraced houses around him he sees as not being realistic and not being genuine. He sees them as artificial constructs in a really fake and unpleasant world. 